All right, guys, it is Flight Fest day two. It's already rained, and we yes, got Peter it has here. rained. And we are going to build the world's biggest, well, not, probably not really. Oh, let's probably say, one say of the, own it. The world's probably the world's biggest plane to ever fly at Flight Fest, I can say that for sure. Yes. And it's going to have 50 engines, and that's probably a world record too, because I don't think anyone's done a 50 engine airplane in RC in any fashion before. Yeah. So this will be a first for so, us, and probably the RC planes. And probably about 20 kits, because you just came with the spars that you built back at your shop. Yeah. I want to make sure these got done well, so I just, well, done well. I mean, they're Gorilla Glued and sticks. But I want to make sure they were done on a flat floor. So these are put together. These are going to be our wing spars, and we've got a plane to build in two days. The one thing we have at Flight Fest that's in, in plenty of supply is child labor. So yes. we're going to find some kids, and we're going to build them. I'm just trying to get everyone squared away. Like I'm showing some, some guys how to make some ribs and then I'm gonna work on the fuselage to get that built. Okay guys, we are using these InstaGo 2s and you can get some really professional shots and really unique shots by just simply attaching the InstaGo 2 to a stick or a pole or something of that sort and moving around just like a crane. Now check out some of these amazing shots that we got. The plan is to make the plan after you start building the airplane because that's always worked well historically. Well, actually people keep asking questions and my throat is actually getting sore by having to mention over and over and over what we're doing. So we're doing a 50 engine, 30 foot wingspan airplane. Look at the diagram. <laughs> Don't ask questions later. <laughs> Okay, it is currently four o'clock. The plane is going well, the fuselage is done. The army of volunteers have not died yet from heat exhaustion, so they are working overtime to get these wings done. Right now we're working on taping the, uh, taping, taping the uh, wing panels, the bottom of the wing panels together, then we can mate them to the spars. Sam is over there putting that together. This is becoming a smashing sort of success. I don't know how this is going. I'm running out of words to say. Uh, yeah, cut back to you later, Noah. Whoa. I don't think you can tell outside or something, it's going to be big. It is currently now uh, 646 and we are attaching the um, crowdsource, what are these called? Ribs to the uh, airplane. So now we can start building the wings and get closer to the nightmare that is the motor wiring. I'm still debating whether I want to have a team of people flying the airplane or not. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it. But everything is in a cluster of five. So five motors to one battery, to one uh, power distribution board. Those will all go into one receiver. So I can get 10 volunteers to hold one radio. Well, each of them gets a radio connected to that one receiver. So 10 receivers, 10 volunteers, completely desynced. I hope they're actually synced up and we can do it. But I might just try to tie them all to my radio, but we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm back here at the shop. Josh and Peter are over at Flight Fest getting this crazy airplane situated. But we're actually shooting this whole entire episode on the Insta360 Go 2 camera. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about this camera and why it's amazing and why you can shoot an entire episode with it, plus what it's really good for. 
So probably for us, the best thing about it is that it's super light. So when we're flying it, it literally has no effect on the CG because it literally weighs about an ounce. And now there's a lot of tech packed into this little guy. So the stabilization, first and foremost, shoots stable and smooth footage with best in-class stabilization with their flow state stabilization. You've also got something called horizon leveling. Plus you can choose the aspect ratio after you're done shooting. So along with that, you've got the flagship grade one and 2.3 inch sensor, which is the same size of sensor found in leading action cameras. So it ensures that you have no sacrifice in image quality. So probably one of the things I like most about it is the app preview, which is a Wi-Fi transmission built into the Go 2 for being able to preview the shot before you take it. And then after you do it, you can preview it before you transfer the footage, which is pretty amazing. And so also the Go 2 touts a replaceable lens guard, which is actually super practical because then you don't have to ever worry about scratches or crashes because you can just take that lens guard off and replace it with a new one. On top of that, they also have supported ND filters. So whether that's an ND8, 16, 32, or 64, those filters are all available, allowing users to shoot more cinematic footage and to reduce the jello effect. So I gotta take all of these Insta360 go-tos, take them all out to the flight field out at Flight Fest so we can put them on the plane, on the drone, and we can get this thing shot. So let's go over there. So uh, Peter, what's going on? Uh, we're going to attach the motors to the airplane. So we can fly, hopefully. Nice. Uh, I hope the kids can put these things together because uh, 25 inches is a lot for, for deviation. So we'll see if they can put them together correctly. It is currently now <laughs> one o'clock. We are working on getting the rest of the plane done. The motors are on the plane. We're working on the rudders right now. They're going in the elevator. And then we gotta do the last bit of real stretchy marathon. My brain slurred. Uh, we need to finish the wiring on that, basically. That's all we need to do. That's what we need to do next. I'm probably like 75% confident. It's mainly just if we can get this thing to the flight line in one piece and if, as long as the, the spars can support the plane while it's on the ground. In the air, the spars will totally work just fine. But the problem is when the plane's on the ground, it's actually a bit heavy. It's too much localized force in the center. So we'll see how strong it is. But if it breaks anywhere, it's gonna be there before we can fly. It is day three of this mega build. It is time to take it out to the flight line and glue the wings on because we are done. We did the run up last night. It didn't explode. Yeah, I hope everything still works because uh, with this many motors, you, you've increased your chances of failure by 50, or actually 49, because you have to have one motor at least. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna take it out there, we're gonna put some Gorilla Glue on the wing, glue it down, let it sit for about an hour here, and then put a little bit extra tape on it, put it on top of a golf cart, and then uh, let it rip. So what do you think's gonna happen to the giant airplane? Uh, I think it might just, one of the servos is gonna lock up or something, or something's gonna go wrong and the whole thing's just gonna just explode or something like that, I don't know. It's gonna fly. It's gonna fly? It's gonna fly. So you have full confidence in Peter. I got 80% confidence in Peter. If the wing stays on, maybe a lap around the field? It's a little warped from the moisture, but I think it's gonna do something. 100%. I have faith in Peter. You have faith in Peter? I've seen, I've seen Peter do some crazy stuff, so I have faith that he is going to pull. There it is. Wow. So, what's happening? Alright, so we're, we're carrying this 30 foot, 50 motor monstrosity out for its first maiden flight. <laughs> this thing has over 100 pounds of thrust, it weighs less than 50 pounds. I cannot believe it's light, but at the same time, just huge. So, as you can see here, it's got some crazy stuff going on. Right now, they're gonna plug in the entire airplane, they gotta plug in the BC, they gotta plug in the batteries, uh, and then they're gonna put on top of the golf cart, and they gotta try to launch it again. So, super excited, hopefully it works out. Right now, we've got all the good things happening. Gotta give it a go. All right, are we good to go? Let's load it up. Let's load it up. We got that little bit of a breeze. Here we go. Hey, God. Some help, some help. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so sketchy. All right. Here goes nothing, right, Peter? Yeah. All right, Lee, you ready? Yeah. All right, send it. Baby. We got it, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Are you doing mostly rudder? I'm doing a lot of rudder, it's just skidding around the sky. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh no! Yeah. Look at the sun! <laughs> that is big oh, again! Oh, 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 no. oh, no. I'm trying to turn! Treat. 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 You got this! Uh, you got this, Peter! Come on, Peter! You got this, Good job, man. That, that is, is a much flight. better, but still, we might have to make stronger wing spars next year because we're getting this torsion effect with the ailerons. Yeah. That's kind of how some kids build wings, a lot of them, but they did a great job, anyways. What, what, what happened? Uh, basically what happened was the wing is like a, it was really floppy because of one of the days the moisture got to it and we were really trying to stick the tape back down. I was looking at this thing and like, it went from like 80% confidence in the morning before the moisture started getting out of it down to 60% because it was, all the joints were coming out. Yeah. So basically when I added left aileron, the left aileron went up, but the problem is it pitched the front end of the wing up, which acted like a trim tap, so it rolled to the right. Yeah. So we were stuck in a proverbial roll all the way till it finally hit the ground. Well, the fact that you kept up as a testimony of what an awesome pilot is, but also that you understand how when planes are built crazy and sketchy, yeah. how to actually fly them. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, I've never done anything 30 feet that's fully can it's fully cantilevered wing, so that was a little bit of a design error on my choice. I probably should have put struts on it, which would stop that rolling factor, but hey, well, it always, got off the ground. There's always next year, too. And more importantly, my spar stayed together. That's the important thing. So, <laughs> the engineering was all right with the uh, shoot weapon, the popular well, spark. We could have done this without Emacs and those 50 motors. Thank you so much, Emacs, for powering this big monstrosity. I can't wait for next year. See you next year. See you next time. All right, guys. So as you can see, we shot this entire video on the Insta360 Go 2 camera. Now, these things pack a wall of it's literally an all-in-one action camera that you can use for your personal use or for the different production needs that you have in your own life. Now, what you got to do now is you got to go in the purchase link down below in the description grab one for yourself or a couple for yourself that helps us out a ton. And also a huge thanks to Insta360 for making this content possible for you guys watching because without you guys and the sponsors, we wouldn't be here doing what we do. And so now make sure you go grab one of these Insta360 go-tos for yourself. And until next time guys, we'll see you in the next one.